one. Join me in this as we look at Africa, as we look into our big and great and marvelous created continent in this world. We look through Africa using an African eye. Welcome and join me with Masi Msioki in this journey as we try to look into an African world. I have seen photos taken from Africa. Photos showing how Africa poor is. In fact, I have not had any good news about my continent. The storytellers seem not to know one thing. Africa is a continent, not a country. There are beautiful parts of Africa. They choose to give you what they want. They know not Africa. We are a great continent. My mother, Africa, is considered the poorest of the world. But I know she's not the poorest. They soil her name so that we, her children, may consider them better than us. They know not Africa. We are a great continent. We are a great world. We are a great nation. Africa is great. She is considered the poorest. Not because she doesn't work. Her sons and daughters train. They strive for excellence. Her sons and daughters study. They get good grades in school. Occupy great offices and consequently earn fat salaries. But what goes wrong with Africa? When did the rain begin beating my motherland? Out of you have done all what each person in developed countries does, what prevents them from reaching the sky? We are a great people. Here with us comes one to five facts, interesting facts about my motherland Africa. This is what makes us be how we are. One to five facts about Africa. First fact is the lack of focus. The center of attention is missing. And Africa simply does not but know the fat broad. Many Africans do not know where they want to reach. They simply walk. Not just to walk, but have a distant destination. Find your destination. Focus on your destination. You either jump as a way of exercise or jump to see far. You know your purpose. Fact number two. Immediacy. Africans are like Epicureans. The what matters for them is today. Tomorrow is under the care of God. They want to do now and have results now. They want to start working now and have a dream car now. They want to start working now and own a dream house now. They want to have an excellent life, but they want not to pay the price. You need time to reach there. You need to prepare. You need plans. Nothing comes on a silver plate. Nothing comes in a minute. Things are created, and creation needs time. Settle di down and work to enjoy tomorrow. The third fact, consumerism. Great population of my people hate to live and not live to hate in a strange way like a ghost. We are a great percentage of clients of the rich countries in the world. We are prepared to eat all that pass in front of us. Consumerism kills the growth of Africa. Have a time to eat, but also a great time for work. Eat to live and not the opposite. We are the best in fighting. Fact number four. Addiction of me. It is obvious and always will be that an African man earns a lot of money. 
what attracts an African man is a woman. He will live to administer, to manage, or love ladies by squandering the little he gets. For an African man to get minimum of your success, it is impossible to let go a woman passing by in front of him. He will let fall everything, including the family, the visions, the dreams. Addiction of taming has spoiled so many families. Taming has destroyed men. It has taken some from the thrones. Christopher, study, follow your visions, focus on studies, and not on these girls you are with in this school. Be good and succeed in academics, first men. Things will come searching. Beauty will come. Mr. Oyolo Sado, another black messiah at Busumbi Muslim Secondary School, will tell me sometimes in 2010. I will also learn that it is not the number of women a man has, or a number of women a man fucks, that defines his manhood, but the, the heart of the same man defines that man. It's not the number of women you have that defines your manhood, but it is the size of your heart that defines your manhood. Fifth fact, bad companies. We are surrounded by people whose future, whose intentions we do not understand. We are surrounded by people we gave our hands, supported by our backs. Others don't want to learn with us, but others want to be what we are. We are surrounded by bad people, in our ankles, in our persons, and even in our ways. All those bad friends block our gold tagible hands. They are barriers to our greatness. They disconnect the network of success. To the motherland Africa, and that is the problem to the great Africans. Five reasons that make Africans not succeed, not to achieve happiness, the absolute richness. One and unique way is changing of mentality, changing the way we think, changing the way we do our things, changing the way in Africa. An African need to adopt the mentality of richness. Share this video with a great number of Africans. We need to start constructing a rich Africa.